Okay, so what we're now going to do is delve a tiny bit deeper into arrays and basically have a look at some of the properties and methods that are available on arrays that we may create. So we already know that we can create an array like the names one I've created here and we can assign three different values to this. Now over in our browser we can go ahead and type in names and we get these values out. But little do most people know that array, uh, the array object if you like, or instance, actually inherits from array.prototype. Now what on earth is array.prototype? Well this contains different properties or one property in this case um, and it basically allows you to perform different actions on your array so we've already looked at things like splice which is actually inherited from array prototype this sort of delves into the fact that uh, javascript is very much an object oriented language even though it doesn't immediately appear to be so so for example let's take a look at the length property of this array so we know that we've got an array called names but let's go ahead and console log names dot length now what this is going to do is it's going to use the array property um, on the array and it will give you the property name and that holds length so we can say names dot length and it gives us three back now we can inspect this by saying object dot get own property names and we can pass in names now this isn't available in all browsers but in the latest version of chrome i'm using now what this will return is all of the property names of this particular object now remember it's an array but it is classed as an object so we've got the property names are 0 1 2 which are the indexes and the th uh, the fourth property name here is length which contains the length of the array which is one two three so that is the property but if you take a look over here on I'm on the uh, Mozilla developer network site um, you've got all of the different methods that you can uh, use so we've already looked at push uh, to add an item onto the array and we've looked at splice as well but we can also do things like pop which removes the last element from the end of an array and it will return that element the same with push it will return the new element uh, or the sorry the new length of the array we can do things like reverse so we can reverse the array if we want we can sort it um, we can do things like shifting to so remove the first element from an array and return that element um, there's all different things that we can actually do so to string for example so dot length because it doesn't have two parentheses afterwards like this it's a property this won't work it's a property of the array and we've seen that with the has own properties uh, sorry um, the uh, get own property names method of uh, object and that's returned uh, length we can see that as a property but obviously as part of the um, array prototype we have all of these different methods as well so they modify the array this um, accesses parts of the array so we can do so these are the accessor methods and we've also got iteration methods as well so we can do a for each for example uh, to loop over the array but that's just a little bit more of an in-depth example and if you head over to the Mozilla developer network you'll find all of this great information on here about what you actually can do with arrays uh, as well and uh, that just provides a little bit of an insight into how arrays actually work.